hi welcome back to Rebecca's travel so if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's lifestyle um, today I'm going to be doing uh, 10 latest travel facts worldwide June 2021 part one so uh, today again in the UK in the Midlands and um, it's been a lovely day lovely and sunny hot weather um, as well so it's just been a lovely day um, so, uh, so um, I always think um, uh, when uh, the sun's out um, everything looks um, prettier and more attractive um, in my opinion so um, would you um, please if you haven't subscribed to my channel click the subscribe button I upload five times a week on both my travel and my lifestyle channel so um, also click the notification bell so you never miss a vlog and um, also if you want to join my memberships for extra perks um, it starts from 99 pence per month it's the join button and it's blue and white so um, let's jump right into it um, according to breakingtravelnews.com I've got 10 fabulous brand new travel facts number one is OECD launches tourism recovery blueprint OC, uh, o ECD ministers have endorsed initiative to promote safe travel during the COVID-19 pandemic. The initiative involves a soft travel blueprint and temporary international knowledge sharing forum, uh, which is really good. Also, um, AHIC to return to Dubai in September this year 2021 I hope that goes as well as possible that event the Arabian and African Hospitality Investment Conference will return live and in person later this year the event will take place from September the 20th to the 22nd at um, my maiden at Jamar, Jamaya in Dubai. Excuse my pronunciation. Number three, Ireland prepares for um, reopening tourism sector. Good luck to Ireland and the rest of the world. Anyway, Ireland has endorsed the European Union COVID-19 certificate which will enable uh, seem less travel amongst member states. The tourism body has said this was really good news for everyone in the tourism industry which it is. And number four, UK hospitality reveals UK staff shortages, unfortunately. Really hope. Number five, Qatar Airways to offer new United States flights. So that's really good news. Um, and um, number six, Heathrow opens dedicated red list arrivals terminal which again is a very good idea um, especially with the fact I don't think all Ethero airports terminals are in, in use but I think it is um, again keep a good idea to keep them people separate um, arriving on the red list countries and number seven a part hotel at Jago opens new property at Palm Jemaya 
and uh, Barlat uh, warns tourism sector over COVID-19 and uh, number nine uh, Tui Group uh, sells Ria Hotels and Resorts at uh, stake for um, 670 euros and um, Last but not least, Ocean Sky to launch North Pole trips, wow, in 2024. So um, a lot of great and great and good news there, but more countries um, opening up to, uh, for tourism again, which is really good. And um, I would like to say thank you for watching. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing another footage video of Evans's uh, fair so please keep watching and I'll see you tomorrow so thank you and bye for now thank you bye